Hello students, uh, today we are going to do rapid FMG recall medicine part. Comment on the ECG findings shown below. Now if you keenly see, so this is a, a narrow complex, narrow complex tachycardia, narrow complex tachycardia. So here uh, this ventricular fibrillation is not narrow complex and ventricular tachycardia is also not narrow complex and all these complexes are well defined and uh, there is also no absent uh, P wave in atrial fibrillation absent P wave and there will be irregular RR intervals. So here RR intervals are regular. So most probably it has to be paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia. Patient complaints of palpitations on examination, irregularly irregular pulse and ECG shows absent P wave. Just now we have discussed absent P wave and irregularly irregular pulse or irregularly irregular rhythm. Irregularly irregular rhythm is characteristic finding of atrial fibrillation. Necrolytic migratory erythema is a finding seen in glucagonoma. Patient on mountain at 5000 meters is having headache, dizziness and cerebral edema. Which of the following indicates development of high altitude cerebral edema? Altered mentation is most important in high altitude cerebral edema. Rarely retinal hemorrhages can also happen. Whereas desaturation is a feature of high altitude pulmonary edema and increased blood pressure is generally not a feature. Female is having fever for three days and cannot touch neck to chest. LP was done. So it means there are findings of meningitis. CSF findings. Opening pressure increased. Appearance white cloudy. Some turbid appearance. Predominantly neutrophils. Low glucose and increased protein. When you find some turbid fluid, increased neutrophils means bacterial infection and also glucose has been uh, reduced and protein has been increased. All these are suggestive of a classical bacterial meningitis. J wave in ECG is characteristic feature of uh, hypothermia. In hypoglossal nerve injury, which of the following is seen? Generally, there will be tongue deviation to the same side students. There is hypotension, diminished uh, uh, heart sounds uh, with absent wide descent in JVP, Beck triad. So Beck triad is uh, generally diminished, diminished heart sounds or distant heart sounds. We can have distended JVP. We can have distended JVP, decreased BP, hypotension. This is the classical triad, Bex triad, distant heart sounds. So you feel heart sounds you are hearing from somewhere because of lot of fluid. And the distended JVP will be distended and there can be decreased BP. These are all features of cardiac tamponade. So the answer to this question is cardiac tamponade, cardiac tamponade. Chronic alcoholic with CLD with the sudden onset uh, hematemesis. Chronic liver disease with hematemesis. Most probably there can be few varices developed in his esophagus. Person brings his father who has become unconscious while working in uh, hot sun, 44 degrees. Most probably it is a heat stroke. Which of the following is not seen? Headache, sweating and hypotension are features of heat stroke. Whereas pinpoint pupils or uh, features of some CNS disorder, not heat stroke per se. You were somewhere and saw a guy collapse and you started giving CPR. Meanwhile, rescue team has arrived. Which of the following is correct about your option? See, in cardiac arrest, most important is CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. So let the rescue team come. You should continue CPR. And next important is you should do uh, defibrillation so that to correct any uh, ventricular fibrillation. So meanwhile, they are attaching the pads. That time is also very precious. You should continue CPR. Once they attach the pad and once they are ready to give the shock, then you can 
release and you can wait for the shock and again after shock also you should continue cpr so the best answer is continue cpr even when the team is arriving and it is trying to apply ad paddles ad paddle means nothing but automated external defibrillator young adult with gastric outlet obstruction and vomiting when there is gastric outlet obstruction and vomiting these patients can develop severe metabolic alkalosis due to volume loss and secondary hyperaldosteronism to counter this you should give volume so which one uh, immediately repletes volume in your body it is normal saline patient with chronic stable angina is having signs of heart failure which of the following drugs increase longevity when somebody is having heart failure there is something called as lv remodeling to prevent the left ventricular remodeling or to fight against that remodeling we have to give ACE inhibitors. Aldosterone is very important in promoting the LV remodeling, which will further deteriorate the patient. These ACE inhibitors will decrease the aldosterone activity and it can prevent the LV remodeling. There was a male smoker who has difficulty in swallowing, most likely to develop which of the following. See, actually, this is a bit unclear question. Most probably, male smokers generally develops squamous cell carcinoma. So whether they are asking in terms of esophagus or lung, it is not clear in the question. See, even uh, lung carcinoma uh, developing in the bronchus can infiltrate the esophagus and cause dysphagia. So common in smokers is generally squamous cell carcinoma. Comment on the ABG given. pH is reduced PaCO2 is increased, bicarbonate is increased. Uh, stepwise uh, ABG approach. First see the pH, it is decreased. Acidosis or alkalosis, acidosis. Second step, what is the primary? If you notice, change in pH with respect to parameters, it is in opposite direction. You know the Rome principle. In respiratory, change in pH with respect to parameters will be opposite. In metabolic, it will be same. Because change in pH with respect to parameters, it is in opposite direction. The primary is respiratory. The best answer will be respiratory acidosis. Family member is volunteering for blood donation for a person with road traffic accident. Before giving transfusion, which of the following is not tested for? Routinely, we test HIV1, HIV2, HB, uh, hepatitis B, hepatitis C. Whereas hepatitis A is generally not tested because hepatitis A is a fecal oral. It is not blood borne. Young male, 25 years of age, presents with stosis, worse in evening and shows improvement in the morning. The patient complains of exceptional fatigue. Workup with ice pack test shows relief in ptosis. All these uh, are suggestive of myasthenia gravis. In myasthenia gravis, this uh, ice pack by indirect mechanism can uh, increase the availability of acetylcholine and it can improve the it can improve the doses the best answer is myasthenia gravis and all these topics would have been discussed in your regular classes in detail this is just a rapid revision for you to understand what are the answers to these questions 50 year old with palpitations episodic headache and sweating Workup showed small left-sided supra uh, renal mass. Which of the following would be done for confirmation? These are suggestive of a pheochromocytoma. And in pheochromocytoma, usually the test we use will be urinary vanil mandelic acid levels, urinary VMA levels. There was a 60-year-old man with two-month history of weakness and pallor. There was splenomegaly, peripheral smear, HB is 10, leukocytosis, platelets, okay, peripheral smear shows metamyelocytes, promyeloblasts, and myeloblasts. Whenever myeloblasts are significantly high, you should suspect in terms of acute myeloblastic leukemia. Because of high myeloblastic value, this can probably be AM. A known hypertensive patient is brought to the emergency department with palpitations and shortness of breath. His BP is very high and he has developed encephalopathy. This is a complication. So this can be 
emergency situation hypertensive emergency situation in this situation all can be given except nitrates can be given beta blockers can be given but which cannot be given unless and until there is uh, no hemorrhage in the brain and there is no cerebral edema there is no need to give iv mannitol if there is cerebral hemorrhage and if there is some uh, edema to bring down the cerebral edema iv mannitol can be helpful in this situation uh, it is not that helpful treatment of hyperthyroidism in first trimester is usually propyl thiouracil in the first trimester the safe is propyl thiouracil there is a diabetic patient who was brought with complaints of vomiting abdominal pain he had hyperventilation hypotension blood glucose high ketones all these are suggestive of diabetic ketoacidosis that hyperventilation can be the classical kusumal's breathing what is next step in dka most important will be iv fluids and insulin drip here both are given as patient is in hypotension in emergency situation always vitals are important you should give iv fluids especially normal saline patient presents with complaints of morning time productive cough that is yellow and it increases on turning left to right side which of the following likely diseases are to be present whenever there is copious sputum mucoid or purulent with postural variation most important disease is bronchiectasis suppose a uh, patient is uh, uh, having left sided bronchiectasis if he turns to left side all the secretions by gravity will pull up in the left side right lung will be available for gaseous exchange by chance if patient uh, turns to right side and sleep the secretions from the left lung will go into right lung irritate the healthy lung and patient will have severe cough this is called as postural variation female washing clothes and her hands kept in cold water exhibit current uh, color changes from white to red so this color changes initially white then it can become cyanotic blue and then again it can come back to normal after removing from the cold that is red all these are suggestive of a raynaud's phenomena so in a raynaud's phenomena so white to red in between it will also become blue this raynaud's phenomena uh, the treatment you can include calcium channel blockers the answer is calcium channel blockers drug of choice for legionella legionella the usual drug of choice is fluoroquinolones or macrolides here a macrolide azithromycin is given this will be the better answer dullness to percussion and decreased breath sounds left side seen in which of the conditions so decreased breath sounds and there is dullness to percussion it can happen in pleural effusion it can happen in collapse and also in fibrosis so here there is only pleural effusion so best answer will be left sided pleural effusion and usually it is infrascapular area it means it is a dependent area in the dependent area generally fluid accumulates so all this is suggestive of a left sided pleural effusion whereas cardiac tamponade uh, constrictive pericarditis pulmonary embolism have nothing to do with breath sounds have nothing to do with breath sounds because these are not direct uh, lung diseases patient has a tumor of ileum and a urinary 5h indole acetic acid is elevated diagnosis so this is a carcinoid tumor in carcinoid tumor there will be lot of uh, uh, serotonin produced and later there can be formation of 5h indole acetic acid which can be excreted in the urine cat scratch disease is caused by bartonella hensley patient presents with unstable angina and you have given him aspirin 325 mg what is the correct about mechanism of action here aspirin can act as an anti platelet student here aspirin why we are giving we are giving it like an anti platelet which of the following is best for urate lowering therapy in tumor lysis syndrome for tumor lysis syndrome because of destruction of tumor cells there will be 
uh, release of uh, uric acid which can be very bad to the body both allopurinol and rasburicase can help but out of this best is generally rasburicase a 25 year old male uh, trying to have baby for last two years is found to have aduspermia. Physical examination shows uh, scattered pubic hair, gynecomastia, and hypogonadism. So this aduspermia with lack of secondary sexual character, scattered pubic hair, and gynecomastia and hypogonadism. All these are suggestive of a Klinflint uh, filters male. So these are patients with extra X chromosome. So 47 double XY. So they will be having some female features such as gynecomastia. There can be scattered pubic hair, aduspermia, infertility. So with this, we have concluded a rapid discussion regarding FMG medicine recall. All the very best students. Thank you very much.